because enough people requested that I show you the deck list for the uh, Master Wolf 5 uh, dinosaur deck I was trying out. If this one I can make this really quick. Again, please do not copy this thing, like, you know, card for card and try it out. Because obviously this is for Master Wolf 5. There's still a lot, a lot of testing to happen. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, refining to be done. And I'm not doing a dinosaur deck list for Master Wolf 4 because we have a ban list coming around the corner at any point. So I know I know the second I put up a list, it's just gonna get like it's just gonna change if assuming cards go on the ban list or off the ban list. So again, just as, this is just for the video that I'll I'll link in the description below. This is a, this is just what I've I've been testing with for Master Wolf Five. And again, this is could this could completely change because who knows what cards like for all I know, Trishla might get banned for Master Wolf Five. Who knows? Or it'll go back to one, which won't affect me. But like you know, what I'm saying a lot of things could change. So the, here, here's one terraforming. That might go back to two. Who knows? So just because people were asking, here's what I was testing with. So sorry, the glare is terrible. So three raptor, you, you know, had to go three. Uh, three baby ceratosaurus, three miscellaneous. This is all pretty standard for tricking dinosaurs. I was doing two conductors. Again, if you want to play, you can just play one. You can play three. I think two is perfect. Over text, I played two as a personal choice because. In case you do draw the one, you want to have one in the deck so that way you can get it off Raptor. Or just in case you ever want to use it to get the, to get pill, you can then use pill to summon an overtax. So it just gives you it gives you a flex, flex, flexibility. For the one ofs, the one Iolo, the one Petita Ronadon, I am still testing out the uh, Pangratops because you can summon him off Petita Ronadon. Like you use missile, you use miscellaneous, banish two. It would you know maybe him, maybe him and Rex and then. During the end, then you summon Petiteranodon, and the end phase that dies, and you get and you can get out a uh, Pankertops, which is kind of cool. Again, the one giant Rex. I was going back and forth between two of these and one of these. Now I, I stuck with one, and I took out the one slot for a Mega Smasher Rex, just because it's a water target. Because <clears throat> it's a water target, and uh, let's see, hand uh, not, not hand traps. Well, uh, the trooping lineup doing three fire to water. Again, I might bump bump this up to three, but again, this is all this is all just, just, just for testing purposes. Uh, for hand traps, I still just like the gamma package and the three ash blossom. It's just generically good against everything, especially when you're going first. If you resolve this when you're going first, you can just win the game outright. Spell lineup uh, again. I'm testing out the two cyclone just because I feel like even like right now when I'm playing with friends, it's just a good card to help out like. Certain things like or is sort of really good. This could help, like you know, bait like the counter trap or the the babble. So whatever. Again, maybe that can just be ignored. It has nothing to do with the combos that I was showing off in the one video. But then for you know for everything else for dinosaur package wise, we've got the three fossil dig. You know, it's mandatory. Three diagram for your true kings, and then basically your terraforming, your cerotation as a second terraforming. And then I have been playing Foss, uh, Lost World as the. Uh, other field spell to go along with Cerritation because if you do draw this, it's still a really good card. And then to wrap it up, two Evolution Pill, I think two is a perfect number. Uh, you can just play the one if you're only playing like the one over text, but I think two is fine. And then for the extra deck, uh, again, because we're focusing on Master of Five, there were minimal Link Monsters, so I'm only playing Appaloosa because it's just like, you know, still a really strong card. Uh, playing the one of Reaper Docus because he is a combo enabler for helping you like change your attributes to water so that way you can abuse the water true king. Uh, Synchros, uh, Mature Beast is just so really good. I figured since you're a Master Wolf 5, you're not locked to to the uh, extra monster zone, so you can always just summon out the high speed Chambara to like you just OTK really easily. Even if your extra monster zone you know, would have been used up by, by an extra deck monster, you can just summon as much as you want to kill your opponent. So he's just, I think he comes in really handy. Uh, the Omega, because he's just really good, and he goes with the uh, Gamma package. Trishula, amazing right now. I think he's still it's such a great card to every, uh, such a great card to use. Uh, as I showed in the video, uh, Bahama Shark and Toad go really well with your Calamities combo. Uh, if you want to maybe squeeze in a second Bahama Shark and a second Toad, go right ahead again. But this is just what I was testing with to kind of see, like you know what, well what com like uh, what combination of extra monsters is optimal. But I do. I think in the end, I might go with two shark and two toad just because it's so strong when you get out both of them one turn along with your calamities. Uh, one logi, one Dulka, just perfect. These are the perfect, the perfect rank fours for you know any dinosaur deck. Uh, 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 same thing with the best dweller. He's just a, one of the best rank fours in the game. 
I was testing Cowboy because I feel like he's just really good in time. God forbid you ever get screwed over. Uh, your rank nines, the one injured plant near and the one calamities. If you were to test out this deck with maybe like uh, the pot of extravagances, I would say definitely you know max down calamities and then maybe like see and things like I, I like pot of desires, but not not, not desires. Uh, pot of extravagance. It's really good, but then it really hurts some of your combo pieces. So you know play at your own risk. And I was testing out the one number six he did Garus just because he's also a combo enabler and he helps you uh, extend for that toad combo that I showed in the video. Again, this is just to answer the question that people were wondering, you know, what was my deck list that I was testing with? Uh, this is it. Again, it's still up to change. And so maybe after, after the ban list comes out, maybe then I'll do it a deck list for Master Wolf 4. And maybe I'll make an optimized thing for Master Wolf 5 if I, uh, if I come up with something. So hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, you know, just leave them down below in the comments. All right, guys, take it easy. Blah 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 bl